Hello, this is Faye Diagram of Water. Today we're going to present you the explanation of water as quickly as possible for you. As you can see, the dot in the middle of the diagram is the equivalent point of the water. God dang it. Hey, keep going, keep going. Yeah. Why does it always have to do that? Okay, the, the dot in the middle of the diagram is the equivalent point of water in which the water can change to any state fairly easily. Uh, give me that chocolate bar. Oh. Mm -hmm. yeah. Alright, alright. Sorry guys, the diabetes. The critical point. <coughs> I think I ate the wrapper. <coughs> Alright, the critical point is in the upper right hand corner. Is the point where water decomposes. That's about it. After. As you can see, it gets really, really hot. So, as the ice melts, it leaves the liquid form of water. Right here. As you can see it. Dying. Anyhow, when the water touches, you would think, oh, hey, you know, it's obviously really hot. It should be a gas. But you're wrong. Obviously. The reason why it does not turn straight into a gas is because when it hits, the little water, the little water guys are like, oh, hey, this is hot. Let's get out of here. So... You know, they bounce around and they're like, man, I'm trying not to get burned. So they hippity hoppity around. That's right, some English lingo for you boys. They hippity hoppity around and they keep switching sides. So it's like, hey, I'm sleeping at night. This part of my pillow is really warm. I'm going to flip it over. The cool side of the pillow. It's obviously cool. So, as it flips and hits, and all that, it goes to its cool side and it stays a liquid until it falls off my burner and then it goes into the liquid puddles. And that, boys, is why that liquid does not evaporate on the burner.